All right, welcome back to our Guild Wars 1 Factions playthrough. And we're still in the process of getting some Luxon Faction in order to move on to the next mission area. And in order to do so, I'm going to continue finding some quests uh, that will give us some Luxon, Luxon Faction. So I'm going to go back to Matu Keep. And there's a pretty nice quest that should be enough to put us in the close to the 10,000 action mark so we're gonna grab charting the jade sea this guy's making a map of the jade sea so we have a lot of exploring to do and all the all the uh jade blessing bounties that we're gonna get along with this 500 lux in faction should get us in the 10,000 range i'm hoping so we grab this we gotta scout the jade the jade sea take that and then we can start with mount king uh, kai which i guess i should start from the fort aspenwood i don't remember which one is the oh yeah this is the battle area so i'm gonna start from the gate grab our henchmen i'm gonna run a different build i'm running i'm bringing back fever dreams i'm gonna use it with accumulated pain and fragility and i needed some sort of other uh condition so i'm gonna try incendiary incendiary bonds because this is also a aoe hex so it should help a lot actually do i really need hmm because of fever dreams i don't necessarily need that do i maybe just go with immolate might be better jump. yeah it's the same idea without yeah i'm gonna i'm just gonna run immolate that's a better idea because fever dreams is automatically gonna spread it anyway it doesn't matter if it's aoe all right now we grab our henchmen i need some some people who use uh Conditions. What am I trying to think of? Should be good. One more. I don't know who else uses conditions. I guess we'll go with Aurora's the Barrage. Guardian. Of... I guess we could go Argo. Yeah, let's just do Argo. And maybe I should bring another one. Let's just bring Blinding Flash. Yeah, it's a faster cooldown anyway, but it's a high. Uh, no, it's not. It's about the same. Faster cast time. All right, let's do it. So the idea is here, we're going to just scout the Jade Sea. We're going to grab some blessings, Lux and blessings at the shrine here. And we're going to get the 10,000. I'm going to go ahead and get a buff here from the U slash Neil. And then it summons uh Duena. Hmm. Air magic raised by one. Health regenerate. That's a pretty good one. And armor. So air and monk. Let's get the health regeneration. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. It's constantly healing. So just follow these uh, markers for the quest. And then we're going to fight any enemy that comes in our path. I think you get 10 Lux and Faction per enemy defeated. So it should be getting it pretty fast as long as these are populated areas. All right, there's one. Yeah, let's just go ahead and fight these guys. Test out our build on them. We might have some energy problems. I should use the correct. Yeah. Uh, I need to change. Oh, why is my illusion? Oh, I didn't. Let's do. The fragility damage just seems lower than I thought. 21 damage. That's it. I thought it was at least like 25. 
I should keep I need to keep mantra persistence up as well. Blinding flash is gonna come in handy here. Yeah. Good. Hanaku really puts he puts a lot of conditions on. He's gonna be a huge damage dealer. What was that item we got? Tony Oni Talon. Tony Allen. It's kind of a sizing quest as well. Pretty sweet. Ah, oh, I meant to get some Lux in keys because we're going to be exploring so much we might as well get some drops from the chest but i did not bring any fail i should just sell that shield i don't know why i'm hanging on to it I like oh i can use it for uh uh oh that was a lot of damage use it for a boss or a fighter henchman or something but that's not gonna be for a while so i should just go ahead and sell it merging it you head to the beach go this way yeah it looks like we can go around up here so that marking on the map that's marks the territory of luxon and kurzik territory so you can kind of see the influence that the the result of PP, uh, PvP, I guess, that line changes. Hmm, they have fiery dragon sword. You see that? I wonder if that means they drop it from time to time. Just trying to get fragility on as many enemies as possible. Make sure it's spread around. My teammates also do condition damage, so just having fragility on them is going to be a big damage booster. Accumulated pain is really nice. Huge spike. Took a little detour to get some extra Lux and Faction. I don't remember how much we started with, but it looks like we got maybe a hundred or two hundred faction already. So if I'm right, by the time we complete this quest, we'll be at 10,000. My estimate. We're fighting a lot of Nagas here. Naga is such a cool enemy in my opinion. Oh, some more Luxons. Can I get multiple Luxon? Blessing? Surely not. In the uh, Nightfall areas, each person at a shrine gives um, a new uh, kind of faction bounty. So you can collect them by going from place to place, or shrine to shrine. I don't think that's the case in factions, though. Ritualist rune, probably not worth much. I don't know why I like this fever dream so much. I've run fragility and ineptitude, and that's some insane damage as well, but I just like the idea of spreading so many conditions to everyone, and the dazed is three seconds long. So essentially for three seconds, they can't... Oh, it's a Kurzik. Interesting. Wouldn't want to see its holiness change with your luck and loving soul. <laughs> okay. A little bit harsh. Maybe we can pick up some more quests here. This looks like a Luxon. What even is this area? Breaker Hollow? 
Uh, sweet, Lux and Faction. Kurzix or Sora here. I've got the perfect jobs for you. The Kurzix don't know, but we Luxans don't have the manpower to scout the entirety of the coast. Blah, blah, blah. If you happen to run into any Kurzix raiding party, deal with them. All right, I'll do it. So we can fight some Kurzix and get some more bonus. Oh, it's part of some backtracking. Not worry about it for now. Um, Parting adjacent. Oh, I do need to backtrack anyway. Let's fight these guys first. Probably not going the most optimal route for this. Let's get them to punch up. I was wanting to get them to group up there for a second, but they're not taking the bait. Oof, that's a ton of damage. Love to see it. Going over there, outcasts. Are they outcasts of the Luxons? They're like kicked out or something? Thirty enemy slain, so it counts whenever I have the blessing. So that's three hundred. That's three hundred uh, faction right there. We've gotten. I'm having some energy problems. I probably should have gotten the energy tap instead of drain enchantment. I'm not really using a lot of enchantments, I guess. Oh, it's a boss. Ayala, Ayali the Brave. Yeah, Fever Dreams is just meant to go with fragility, I believe. get rid of some of this probably worth more to just get the parts from him in Gok, yeah that's worth a lot more get rid of some of this you need some space man Uh, now we're going around here. Let's go fight those Luxons, I guess. First checkpoint. Search of Kurzix in the facility. Oh, Kurzix, I mean. Kill any Kurzix invader you find. So it, this was requiring us to walk around many areas too. I'm going to speed this up. Okay, we're almost at the spot where the Kurzix are supposed to be. Do they just up here or? Oh, how do we even get down there? Oh, we can't get down this area. Great. Oh well. I can get over this area though. Any Kurzix here? Are they gonna pop out of nowhere? Nope. Oh, they are. Okay, great. Wow, that monk. I didn't know what hit him. Get out of the uh, unsteady ground. Oh, there's a ton of them coming. Perfect. These two quests together are really good. And then we already had the bl the blessing, so you know, we're already almost to seven thousand. Come on down, the more the merrier. Okay, these root wallows should group up. Perfect. They don't seem to have much hex removal, so that's good for us. Let's 
I'm still not... So I think... There is some benefit to recasting Fever Dreams. Because I'm noticing when I cast it... there It's immediately triggering Fragility. So that's telling me that... That's... Uh, inflicting the Dazed. So d in order for Dazed to be inflicted... I need to cast it on a target that has two or more conditions. Otherwise, it's just going to be... Continuously spreading conditions which is good also but recasting it on someone is also a good idea what did he looks like he removed that hex all right all right where to next so what i think they're close to each other yeah, they're very close. One's closer. Nice. Got the full combo off. It's a really fun build. So much utility with all the... Or so much... Um, what's the word? Disable, disabling, disable support by putting all the conditions on, plus spiking. It's like double threat. <laughs> That's some big numbers there. Come on. Very good. I mean, the blind only lasts three seconds, but that's enough to block, like, at least one, maybe two attacks. I could have gone some other, like, I could have gone Necromancer secondary, and got, there's, like, a pretty cheap weakness one. That one's also pretty good against a lot of melee enemies. But, uh, actually, weakness is good against anyone, because it lowers their attributes, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe that would have been better. Instead of Elementalist Blinding Flash, you just go Weakness with the Necromancer skill. We get some Jade. Ah, oh, Glittering Dust, that's good. It's like 400 gold right there just from this just from that one salvage glittering dust is worth so much yeah i just went ahead and cast blinding flash without even putting fragility on him because blocks it blocks his attack We're getting cast mantra of persistence first. I mean, it's pretty easy to maintain. The problem is with this, the weakness with this build happens whenever they're spread out like this. If they're too spread out, then I, I have to cast fragility one by one. It doesn't quite have the spiking, spiking effect that I want. Get our mana up. Okay. Looks like the last one, there should be a bunch of Kurzix coming down. They are. Keep, keep fragility on all of them. Kurzik Bobble. There's some more. Yeah, 
Yeah. I think in that one, I just cast Fragility one by one. Still does lots of damage. Wait, what's next? Down here, and then starting JC is right over here. Hukra, Earth Slope. We fought that guy once, didn't we? Let's just get them all grouped up. Nice damage. Not even able to use accumulated pain, really, because they're just going down too fast. I think I should rearrange these. It's a better. But that's a better spike. If I can get deep wound on as soon as possible, that's more damage actually. Plus 79 damage is not too shabby. And that life sheath is nice. I can get him in melee range here. here go. Huge damage. This earth? Henchman uses the ward against melee. That's really nice. As long as my henchmen stay in the ward, the healer's kind of running around outside of it. Wow, already at 7,500. We've gotten about 1,500 since we started this. So now we can go to Boreas Seabed, but I want to go ahead and finish this mission first, or this quest. And I'm definitely going to pick up some keys. You yeah, might as well get some loot. We're going to be doing all this exploring. Oh, come on. That's lame. At least I got fragility off. It should be the last. Oh, there was two more Kurzik drops. I feel like Kurzik should give more than t the normal in Lux and Faction. I mean, it's their sworn enemies. Another rune. Who? What the heck? Um, I need space though. What did I drop? Oh, uh, I mean, fibers aren't really worth much. Rune of Major Swordsmanship. Wow, I've never unlocked that before. That's crazy. Trying to make some space while fighting at the same time. <laughs> the disrespect is real. This one. Rune of Major Vigor. Let's go, let's go. No, that's not bad. One fire damage. I bet that's worth some money. Maybe not, actually. Alright, pick this stuff back up. Wow, how many enemies are coming? It's like 
busy managing my inventory. My henchmen are just aggroing everyone, I guess. Oof. I get the same reaction every time that deep accumulated pain goes off. It's just crazy spike. Yeah, if you factor in the deep wound, that's, that's a mag, like just a massive spike. Okay. Let me go ahead and speed this up since I'm going to be back backtracking. And this will be the last part of the mission, the quest. I'm getting that message that says immune to bleeding because it's trying to pass bleeding that uh, Panaku is using through my fever dreams to the spirit. So that's why it's not going to work. I didn't know that the spirits can be affected by the hex though. I thought spirits are immune to hexes. All right, now we can talk to this guy and we can go to that area. While we're at it all right another speed it speed it up moment okay and then we come back here turn this quest in 400 lux infection boom and only, yeah, we're 8.2. Okay. Let's go ahead and go here. Is this an outpost? What is this? Breaker Hollow. It is an outpost. There's going to be more quests here, actually. 750. What? Big one. Not doing it now, but we'll pick it up anyway. We need to do. We need to keep doing. Um. Parting. Oh, I'm gonna go to Boreas Seabed now. I wonder if it's better to go from Zoshivros. Let's go from here. Lost some henchmen, so we'll grab these guys. And get the guardian. Oh no no protection. There we go. Didn't see any mesmer hint. Oh yeah, let me grab some keys really quick. Okay. Took a lot of money actually. Hopefully we can find something good at least. Nice, we're right outside here. Talk to the priest, don't forget that. Get that blessing. And then we'll get the... Uh... Nice. Increase all Mesmer attributes by one. Now it does 22 damage, that's not the worst. 83 damage from accumulated pain, that's awesome. Oh, they have expel hexes though. That's annoying. I have to cast a bunch of hexes though. My hexes are very spammable, so it should be fine. To just keep casting them. Oh, they're all grouped up. Nice. Oh my gosh. Uh, they grouped up at the perfect time.
called an outcast death hand. Um, I think there's only one of us that's going to experience death. So there's a moment where they just group up like that. And then I can just massive damage. Oh god. Never gets old, man. We're standing in some well, though. I don't know if it's our well or the enemy's well. I think we might hit 10,000 before we finish this quest, actually. So many enemies. I wish you would drop that fire dragon sword. I want it one so bad. The 2006 high schooler in me wants that fiery dragon sword for nostalgia purposes. go down that's a cool what item that has oh it was holding and holding something looks in chest come on rune of superior vigor come on it's gonna be a rune of superior vigor i feel it oh j staff max damage jade staff or death magic. Where is it at? Enchantments last 20% longer. That's pretty nice. Perfect. Two perfect uh, bonuses. Almost perfect. Has casting time. What are the options for salvaging? Yeah, I can salvage both of those. I'll keep it and sell it. 332. There's so many good like green item staffs that I'm not really too worried about keeping those mods. And I'm limited on inventory space anyway. Oh, I was supposed to switch to weakness, wasn't I? And I was supposed to get rid of drain enchantment for energy tap, forgot. Come on. Wow, why does he not... Why does he not die? I guess I'm the main damage dealer. I need to group up more. Who's... And Nightmare Weapon's a good healing skill for they have warriors on their team. Hard to pick up items now because I have no identification kit. Lame. Oh, how do I get up there? Three more places left in Boreas Seabed. I don't even know if I'm going to have to finish this or not. I think I'm going to get 10,000 pretty easily. I want to go ahead and aggro these guys. Oh, I should have waited.
get them grouped up. Oh, let's get the under the ward here. Yeah, ward against melee is really nice. 50% chance of blocking melee attacks. Okay, all the way over there, dang. Where's the Mesmer enemies? Or bosses, rather. This, this quest was a good idea at first, but I was sure long. I like that it's broken up though. It's really four separate quests in one. But there's just one reward. You can do it in sections. You need to finish it all at once. Go ahead and use that scroll. Getting lots of skill points. Oh, Signet and Judgment just makes you knock down, be knocked down immediately. It's not it's not based on attacking or using a skill or anything ah they're they're using some synergy between the root wallow and the guardian guardian causes knockdown and they use that fetid ground x causes damage and poison pretty cool Yeah, the developers really thought out in factions about making synergistic enemy kills. Kind of worth studying so you can see what the developers, what kind of synergies developers had in mind when they made the skills. Almost. Yeah, so all the jade items draw, uh, salvage for glittering dust. Even though the weapon skins are pretty cool, I want to sell the glittering dust. Like, that's that's a lot of gold wrapped up in there and there. We'll be selling these soon. Two more places in Boreas. This, this build just has no right to be this spammable. So deadly. Oh, come on, why don't you interrupt? One more place. Where's it at? all the way across the other side of the map perfect i think there's an outpost over there though the 
What's this guy doing? He's just hanging out. Sweet. I mean, just my skill bar has three conditions. It has deep wound, blind, and dazed. And then I think cutthroat has poison and bleed. Argo has burning. Got almost every condition applied in these battles. All the way over there. Ooh, a chest. Rune of superior vigor. Oh, purple. Come on. I don't even want to identify it, actually. I just want to salvage. <laughs> Oh, my inventory is full. Don't care. Oh, what? It jumps just wood? Ah, uh, that was not smart then. I thought all the jade items dropped. Glittering dust. Oh, less than a thousand K, uh, less than a thousand, um, Luxon farm left. Faction, I mean. We might just be, we might be just shy of it in this area. Do a little bit more farming. Is this room 500? Wow, they're having a rough time. Ooh. He's not having a good time. Another chest. guys take him out how many keys do I got left oh I got two more wow did they I, I swear that I or I always thought the chests are randomly generated but looks like these Oni were put to guard this chest is it just a coincidence Maybe they're guarding a rune of superior vigor. <laughs> no. Ah. Just salvage it. No point in keeping it. Granite slabs. That was an expensive. Ooh, another chest. <laughs> See, it was worth bringing these. Even though we're not really getting anything good. Why are those Luxons enemies to us? Weird. Ooh. 
This one, we're, we're gonna hold on to it. Where's it at? Yeah, that's a really good ritualist staff. I hope. Oh, Sik Sakai is a boss, warrior boss. Eh, nah. he's blinded. Six hundred more. Come oh, on. Can I even go up here? I mean, I'm suppo supposed to get up here somehow. Looks like there's a path here, around here. Nice. But why... Why are they enemies? I'm a friend. Maybe not. Oh, totally nuked them. They're only level 20. That's why I basically one shot them. How's Panaku doing? Oh, not great. Assassin's hurt. I might have over aggroed. There's a lot of, a lot of assassins here. Keep them grouped up at least. There we go. Monk's healing too well. Oh, this is rough. got a little overconfident here. I need to take out that monk, but these assassins are too scary. One more monk. Okay. Now they should go down. Jeez. This is a really tough area. Suddenly. Let's get our energy back up. Ooh, a chest. My last key. I already used my last key. Come on. Wait for these hexes to go down. I mean, I don't really need to fight these guys anymore, but worth the, uh, there's an assassin deal up here. It's worth the faction to fight these guys, I think.
And there might be a there might be a faction bonus for beating a boss actually. In Nightfall there is, so it makes sense if they did it here too. Get him, Panaku. Yeah, I really, this is energy intensive build. This turn off is a lead enchantment. That's perfect. One hundred twenty-five faction, yeah. Plus there, plus ten, so one hundred thirty-five faction for beating the boss. That's good. Now we can go to Archipelagos. How do I get over there, though? Breaker Hollow leads out that way. Maybe it leads out the back way? Naga skins. Not good. We're gonna sell those. Oh, the Kurziks are controlling this place. Oh well. Nothing this ghost barbarians do not deserve attention of the gods. What? Ah, uh, it's under control of Luxens, that's why I, or Kurzix, that's why I can't get. Not really much point of us being over here then, but we can explore a little bit. Irukanji. Maybe there's some Luxons over here. Arena Master. I keep forgetting to change my build. Ah. Uh. places Luxon Arena what is this place pretty cool how do we get down there
I mean, all the fighting these enemies is kind of pointless because we don't have the Lux and Blessing. So step priority is to find another shrine that has Luxons at it. What is this? Spiked Coral. While walking on Spiked Coral, something. You take damage every second you're moving or something? Ouch. Razor Tongue Frostbit. Is this a ranger? Yeah. Ellen Drew shot. healing so much. There we go. Oh, that time it only gave us wood. So it's not guaranteed that the jade weapons give glittering dust. We go now down that way. There's a shrine over there, though. Just go. We're distracted by the spirits over there, anyway. Of gold drops. Well, why are these Oni? Are they fighting? They spawn just to fight that lurker. Do you see that? Good damage. Yeah, look at all those when you get when they're, when they're dazed they pretty much cannot cast any spells Black pearl Only worth 30 gold Wait, did I pass by the Did I just go past the Luxon shrine? Where was it? Oh, it's right up here. I was like, I could have sworn. I'm not seeing any priests, though. That's a shame. Help, these savage beasts are trying to eat me for dinner. What beast? Yeah, no enemies over here or no priests over here. Fire magic, 10% armor penetration. Take that one. Mai Shang Hills. 
if I leave, do I need to repeat that? I wonder. Anyway, there's a pre should be a priest over there isn't one. Ah, uh, okay. Let's just go back. We only need to fight a few more enemies anyway. Let's farm it out. Yeah, there's tons you get you get a lot of you get like almost a hundred um maybe more than a hundred faction just by fighting this group out here. dropping this episode all right this is this should do it seven more one two three four five six yeah we need one more enemy after this mob oh no no there's a boss yeah this is a really good farm right outside here then actually you just keep fighting this boss Get a warrior get whirling axe i think Tar Heel mentioned that in the last episode i'll have to come back here and get whirling axe And we have our 10,000. Bingo. All right, so we can go back to Soshivros. We didn't finish the quest, but that was a pretty tedious quest. We got the 10,000 gold, so we can enter Cavalon by talking to this dude. Oh, I guess I could have already entered Cavalon, but now we can finish the quest by talking to Elder Rhea. Yeah. We might look into getting the Luxon armor actually. Change the change the appearance a little bit. Ten thousand experience, seven hundred gold. Boom. And we keep our faction. Alright, so that's the next stolen eggs, that's the next primary quest. Gonna lead there. But we can look around here a little bit, so like Hateos, he has the armor. Luxon armor looks pretty sweet. We need Jade though. Where's the Luxon elite armor though? Isn't there like, maybe it's, I don't remember where it is. Anyway, we could use our allegiance to get some skills, I believe. There should be a Luxon only skill. Let's go look at that. The Allegiant? No, Faction Ward. That's what we need to talk to. Lux and skills. You must achieve at least rank one, a friend of Lux. What? Darn. How do we do that? Anyway. <laughs> we finished the Luxon uh, primary quest. So we can continue with the, with the storyline now. But next episode, we'll be going to Giala Hatchery for that mission. Thanks again for watching. I'm probably going to speed this or, or trim this episode down. It's kind of long. Hopefully, we can get it under an hour. But uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to change up my build a little bit. Next time you see me, we're going to Giala Hatchery to continue the playthrough. If you like it, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. See you next time. Bye.